Hi, Scott Weir here from HomeShare with this week's property tip. This week I've got something for you that's so obvious and it's so simple that I nearly overlooked it when I came across it this week. And the inspiration for this week's video came a few days ago when I met a new client. We're out doing a property appraisal. He had a successful joinery business, was there doing the property up, installing a new kitchen. And as we get chatting over a half hour, he was telling me his investment plans of what he wanted to achieve in property, how many properties he wanted to buy and how much rental income he wanted to be able to retire. And this was all very interesting, we're chatting about potential properties and investment strategies for them. That's the first half an hour. The second half an hour it started to come out that he actually had a lot of properties that he wasn't doing anything with. He recalled one, yeah I've got that, I don't have time to do it so it's sitting empty. Have this other one, I'm letting someone stay at and not really charging them rent. And then he noticed and opened up and said, yeah I've got this big five bedroom house, it's the most expensive one in the street. I bought it years ago but I don't really stay there. I just have one room and I can really move into one of the other one one bedroom buy to let flats and maximise the rental income. So although for 30 minutes we chatted about all the new investment things he could do, really he we worked out that he had £3,000 a month roughly of income sitting not doing anything just because he didn't have time or didn't get round to it. So this week's tip, very simple. Look at your current portfolio. Are you maximising your rental income? Now this gentleman had £36,000 a year worth of income that he couldn't be bothered getting round to releasing. So it wasn't that he had uh, plenty of money, it was just the fact that it was something else in the background that he couldn't get around to doing. So before you start going and investing and more borrowing and looking at more properties, look and see if there's anything in your current portfolio that you can do to generate you a little bit more income. So that's this week's tip and I'll see you next week.